Hey guys, welcome. MX23 XFCE Desktop. So today I'm going to have a little fun and hopefully you will too. And I'm going to show you how you can assign uh, a song to your login. Whether it's the full song or just part of it, like 10 seconds possibly. I'll also show you a tool that does the same thing that can convert music also. Anyways, if any of that stuff interests you, continue watching. I'll say welcome folks, filming in 1920 by 1080. You are watching this on Linux for Seniors. If you'd like to subscribe, there should be an icon in the corner down there where you can click on that. 290 videos and growing. So first thing I want to talk about is a tool that you can turn on your MX Sounds to do logins. Now I have something picked already, but I'm going to reset everything. Okay, back to default. So normally you're going to find that this is off lately. At least I was on my system. Uh, you have three boxes for themes. Borealis is one and where's the default path is USR share blah blah blah. These are all in OGG formats. And uh, that folder is normally protected by root permissions. So do I recommend that you copy music files in here? Not so much. You can create your own folders. I'll talk about that in a second. So you have another subcategory called Fresh and Clean, interesting name, and that has different sets of OGG files. I'll pick the first one. Bell OGG is very small, and if I wanted to hear this on login, I would do it this way and apply. And close and verify. This is what I'm going to hear every time I log in. That's probably something maybe you may want to think about. What do you want? Do you want a sound or do you want a song? Well, you probably clicked on this video because you wanted a song. All right, so I will minimize that so it's not so busy and we'll, we'll talk about this right here. Now I can certainly pick different OGG files and you should already have these installed. MX puts these in there for you under this path. I also have some sample music for you. However, you got your music into your computer, whether you uh, downloaded them off the cloud or you brought in a CD or whatever. You got a music file that you like to play. Let's talk about those. I have Acoustic Alchemy. Maybe that's something that you don't like, but they're just demo files. This is an MP3 format. This is a complete song. So that song could be anywhere from maybe one to six minutes, right? And you hit apply. What that's going to happen is going to play this every time you log in. You can, of course, change the name of the song later. Or you can turn it back off. Or you can hit mute when your thing is playing. But more importantly, let's just go with the assumption that this is six minutes, for instance. What if you wanted a small section of it? Then I'll talk about a tool that we can cut out parts of music. Then you also have another problem sometimes where the folder that you're trying to save the music to doesn't display the music file. Now, if you think that I only have one piece of music in Eric Clapton's folder, I'm going to show you my file manager. Your icon will be different. This is Thunar. I'm going to show you the actual album itself. It has many songs in there. Why isn't this being displayed? Because these are in WA formats. Does that mean I can't use this song? No, you can install a tool which can, you can convert these sound files into MP3s, for instance. You can also take that same MP3 or WMA and cut out sections of the sound. So it's like 10 seconds or 15 or 20 seconds. So let's talk about that tool right now first. I'm going to close all this and open up the MX menu and let's head on over to MX Package Installer and talk about this tool right here, Audio City. A multi-track audio editor. It's a favorite with a lot of folks, including folks that make ringtones for small smartphones. You may want to think about it in this video too if you have that concept. Anyways, install Audio City. Once you have that installed, open up your music files and we're going to do some conversions first and then I'll show you how to cut a little bit of music out of the out of the file to just make a shortened version of it. Okay, 
So I want to first talk about converting files. I'll use that one. Right click, open with. Okay, so it shows this is a roughly five minutes and 25 seconds song. And you can start playing it if you like. Anyways, this is just the sound pattern. Uh, you can also get the full bird eye view by zooming in and out. Okay, but I'm going to convert this thing first because the regular settings only saw one of these, right? When I did this, when I went here, 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 now I can only see one. So I'm working with number six right now. So let's convert number six using the whole file export as a MP3. Just pay attention to the fat path you're saving these. So I'm going to save mine where it belongs. So that's number six and that's number four. You can also change some of the formats in here. I'm going to use the defaults. The next thing is meta tags. You can either edit them or leave them alone. And some things don't have meta tags or tags. Just don't hit cancel. Otherwise it doesn't save your file. So my file manager is open in the background, as you can see, and there's the file right there. Let's take a look at it. And I'm going to open it with VLC. Because I can see the timestamp right there. Okay, sorry about the noise. But anyways, five and a quarter. Okay, but now my tool should be able to find that rather easily. If I wanted to use the whole song, I would just do it this way. It's number six. I hit open, check that, log in, and close. Now that'll play that song every time I log in, complete in its entirety. Let's say that song uh, is five minutes, is too long for you. you. You have two choices. You can either uh, mute the microphone and turn that off, or you can change the song, right? There's lots of options. What if you wanted to just take that song and make only part of it? being part of the sound file. I'm going to close this down completely from scratch so you can see this. So you went into your music album. I'm going to do this and right click on it and open with Audio City and it blows in the same song, except we're going to do something different this time. We all know that it's five and a quarter. That's fine. And there's the 30 second mark. So what I'm going to do is roughly click the 37 mark, 30 second mark and my computer mouse, which is a regular computer mouse, click and scroll to the left. You can see the gray highlighter. Then right click and copy that and open up File, New, and Edit and Paste. Select Audio Only. I don't want the Smart Clip. It's just my preference. Now I'll give you the bird's eye view. I'm going to zoom out to let you see the time frame. So it's roughly 30 seconds. I could also reduce that to like maybe somewhere in that time frame. And then we can also export that out as a OGG file because I'm only cutting sections of it and I want that compressed. That is what MX is using and a lot of Linux distros use for sound files. OGG or OGA. This is OGG. Pay attention to where it's saving it to. Now. I didn't talk about a little bit of maintenance, but more importantly, create yourself a folder, create yourself a directory in your home folder that uh, makes sense to you. I called mine Startup Sound, and I have some extra OGGs in here. So I'm just going to cheat, and I'll call that one number six. So I don't have to retype all that. And then this over here is uh, draggable, actually. So you can see that. I'll leave it at number five, it's default. And then I'm gonna hit save. You can add your tags if you like. I'm just gonna hit okay, but don't hit cancel. Okay, verify that that file is in there. And that was this one. Right click, VLC time, 13 seconds, instead of the whole song. All right, so yes, you can create complete songs or you can cut sections out of it and then um, this would be the whole thing. You can technically also do it that way too. Cut out a middle section and create a new file out of it. 
how is this going to sound? Kind of strange because you chopped out the center section. Okay, you get the idea now? Okay, I'm going to close that. And you can think about this uh, same concept with the saving and exporting into possibly ringtones. A lot of folks use OGG files also. We're going to do a cancel on that. Now let's go back to uh, picking our files. MX sounds. So I'm going to start from scratch again. And I'll go with that and hit that. And uh, you can always do that. Now this is back to USR share. So it, no, it never deletes those. And it's easier to do if you just click that. Now click there and go find your new converted sound files, wherever you save them. Here's uh, the first one. I believe this is 10 seconds. And I have that on and I hit apply. So this is going to play every time because I have this selected and you can see the file in here. So this will play 10 seconds and stop. If I wanted the full song, I would head on over to here, to here, and pick the song and then hit open and hit apply. You can see how versatile this is. Granted, I'm the one doing the creating of these guys. That's the last one I created. I forgot how long this was. I'll turn it down a little bit. Sorry. But this was like 16 seconds, if I recall. So basically, you can um, pick small sections out of songs, or you can pick the complete song. The beauty of it is, it's your choice, and you can always turn these off. This will not play anymore because that's off. Thank you for watching.